XTX 016 module has 16 digital inputs, giving it the ability to monitor a maximum of 16 machines. Each XTX module uses three input connections, a 24 volt DC power supply, a network connection to your local area network, and a cycle signal from your machines. A 24 volt 18 watt DC power supply is needed at the location of each XTX module. Whilst each module is protected by an internal 1.5 amp resettable fuse, an inline fuse should be provided to protect the wiring against over voltage. A network connection is needed to connect the XTX to our cloud service using a standard RJ45 connector. The connection status can be checked by going onto any web browser and typing in status.intouchi4.com. If any of the tests show up in red, access to our services may be blocked and will need to be rectified with your IT department. The XTX module requires a cycle signal from each machine, provided by either an open volt contact free relay or a solid state relay using any two core cable that is capable of carrying 20 milliamps or more. For discrete processes such as injection moulding or metal stamping, the relay should be controlled by a signal which activates once during each machine cycle. For continuous processes such as extrusion, the relay should be controlled by an output from a rotary encoder. So how do you connect these three connectors up to the module? On the front side of the XTX module, you will find a series of connectors and ports. Starting from the left, you will see the RJ45 port to insert your ethernet cable. Over to the right, slightly, you will find a seven pin connector. This is where the 24 volt power supply cables go in. To the right of these, there are four sets of five pin connectors. These are the 16 inputs from each machine and can be inserted in the same manner as the power connectors. So let's take a look at the setup as a whole. An ethernet cable is used to provide a local area network connection to the XTX module, connecting it to our cloud services. The 24 volt power supply will provide power to both the XTX module and the circuit for the relay. Each time the machine cycles, the relay will close the circuit and activate a light on top of the XTX module, verifying that the circuit is working and that we are receiving a signal. Our cloud software monitors these signals to find the cycle time, active time and trailing time, allowing you to monitor the output of your machines in real time. This simple setup can be extended to up to 16 different machines, allowing you to take control and improve your machine's overall equipment effectiveness.